Lindsay Emery, 21, Roseville, California. This is my story. People may say that I'm determined and motivated. If I set my mind to do something, I will try my very best to accomplish it. I don't take no for an answer. My sport is extreme martial arts and tricking. Tricking is a mix of acrobatic techniques from gymnastics and martial arts kicking. And you can create your own routines and kind of put your personality and your style behind it. I started gymnastics from basically when I was walking and I started martial arts when I was six. Some of the tricking that I was introduced to through my martial arts came a little bit easier to me. And just from my first class, I fell in love with it. I love being the first one to, to do something in class. And then I was introduced to tournaments and it kind of just took off from there. Pretty much when I started competing, that's when I knew that this is what I want to take my life in this direction. Around here, there's no one that does the extreme martial arts to the extent of where I've taken it. It's more difficult for me to train here and I've had to venture out and find different people in LA or in the Bay Area. There's a group called Loop Kicks and they held a gathering, a camp every year. My mom would drive me two hours to go to San Francisco and train with them and that's actually the place where I landed a lot of my tricks that I'm known for. My parents were really helpful in, in where I am now. I'm really proud of Mackenzie for all that she's accomplished and when she was younger I would travel with her but pretty much everything she does now is self-motivated on her own. My dad saw my potential and even if I didn't want to train one day or you know I wasn't feeling it, he was the one that saw where my goals were and he really helped me get there. I'm definitely a bladed weapons person. Like my comma is the one that I compete with. Um, they have blades on them too. Um, they're a little bit smaller and I can flip with them a little bit easier, but definitely avoided weapons. <laughs> when I started, I was looking up to anyone who was doing the top tricks and that's who I wanted to learn from. At the time, there wasn't a separation of girl trickers or guy trickers. So, I mean, my goal now is to help inspire anyone, but especially the young females out there. There is no limitations of girl versus guy, that you can do anything that you set your mind to. I love teaching and I travel the world to teach seminars and to perform for people. When I got hired to do one of my first seminars, that's kind of when it clicked for me. And I was like, people want to hire me to teach their kids. That kind of put a whole different meaning on martial arts for me and why I do what I do. I love inspiring the next generation of kids out there. And now I'm the teacher. <laughs>